a communist has read the Communist Manifesto by Karl Marx. A capitalist understands communism. To topic inspired by Cardano. And its leader, um, I think his name's called Charles Hawkinson. Ha ha Hawkinson or Harkinson? Harkinson? Yeah, some pretty busy, so no retakes in the row. <laughs> I think it's Charles Hoskinson, I think. But, uh, I'll tell you right now, for all you dumbasses, for legal reasons, I'll say, this is not financial advice, you stupid motherfuckers. You know, just like you wouldn't fucking tell a porn star, watch your porn, I'm sorry. Fuck them in the ass. But for some reason, if I uh, mentioned something about money, it's like, well, he told me to put, push my money down the toilet. Throw it down the well for the fairies to come out with fairy dust. But, um, <clears throat> uh, tell me sorry about Charles Hoskinson, Cardano, and the Cardon Cardano Summit yesterday. So, Cardano is a uh, cryptocurrency, and uh, someone introduced me to it a few months back, and I like it because it wants to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, serve people in Africa to come with a sort of a payment method. Me, I lived in parts of the world where, lived in parts traveled and done business in parts of the world where shit I'm trying to think once twice been in places where <clears throat> you go 40 miles 40 minutes drive 40 minutes drive and not see a gas station not see a place to uh, a place that has running water and I believe Cardano wants to set up infrastructure, a payment method that was so much crime and bandits. So that you just pay someone with Cardano ahead of time so you don't have to worry about carrying money or exact change or even getting paid. And um gold pencil out. No. And and I like that because I believe uh, a few years back. I learned about BRIC, Brazil, the future, which is BRIC, which is Brazil, Russia, India, and China. I think so many of us are just weak, uh, fat fucks. I still need my cool pencil. That, um, that, um, think, oh my goodness, I had a hard day today. Oh my God, it's, they had the AC on, and it wasn't working at full blast, and, like, I had my latte latte. And they only gave me like some. They gave me some caramel and not enough whipped cream. And oh my god, they gave me too much whipped cream and there was not enough coffee in there. Ah uh, yeah, my, my brain still is in shock when it sees such things. Not from five year olds, six year olds, eight year olds. They want their wawa and their mama. But when I fucking see um. Adults fucking say, no, it's hard, it's impossible, it's difficult. And I'm like, let's get it, let's, let's get it done, let's go. You know, it's, I forgot what I was saying the other day where I'm like digging a ditch or fucking mixing some man or some shit. <clears throat> and we took like a 40 second break and I'm thinking mm, you know uh, I still got this much <laughs> this much more to do oh and I remember now that someone said man dude you're you're too slow and I thought you know that my, my frame I'm shorter than you shorter arms I'm not uh, built like an ox right so let me uh, 
move all this uh, this heavy load by myself at my own pace. It's gonna get done. I give a fuck how hot it is. It's, it's gonna get fucking done. And so I said, oh, I need to move faster. And they fucking they dropped it. Dropped it, using up much more time than I would have. And um, slowing up the progress and shit like that. But, um, was it? That's, that's the train of thought because I was, uh, just a fucking idiot. At least show me the way. Show me how to fucking do it. Like, show me how to do it like a man. Yeah, from all this softness here, you know, we forget that there's people that, um, you know, don't have have it like us, you know. You know where I'm trying to see, you know, where I don't think I can think of anywhere in Los Angeles where I can go, even if we go to Griffith Park, or um, I probably need to go. In, I probably need to go into a basement of a building to not get a signal and uh, even then not even a, a basement but even basement of a basement a sub level to that near, near a cement fire exit or some shit like that to not get a signal on my phone and so there's no excuses for man, for um, you know if they're f I can't read I don't know that subject and clean your light colors before you use them. This, just the red right there. And, uh, you know, I'm going to go on a dog walk soon again. I'm thinking, should I should get coffee or lunch or eat something or eat some more food over here. Or what else can I eat? Or, and I'm thinking, if I walk this way, if I walk, let's see. If I walk, West, yeah, if we walk west. This delicious food, walk, walk east. This other more snack food, more choices, the worst quality of it. And uh, northwest, there's um, well, there's another place that has food that's uh, I've been gone there. I think they're actually doing promotion some of their food hell yeah yes I'm the, I'm that motherfucker that goes there with a coupon and you said there's a discount when you order this much food from this menu and uh, and and all this comes together because you know the people that say man I'm broke man I don't understand I don't have my expenses you know, as they buy sh buy food, too much food from from an overpriced restaurant. And like, yeah, fuck it. It's not, it's not even good enough to be dog food. And me, I remember, uh, you know, just recently you know, eating some sardines. And I wasn't in the mood to eat sardines, but I looked at them and I was like, these things only have a couple more months of uh, shelf life. I'm going to eat them now at my own pace. So that um, I don't, you know, waste money. You know, but there are people that, uh, you know, but you see other people that just pig out, just, oh my goodness, money's tight, and oh man, you know, it's not easy. I would do this and that. And it's like, actually, you wouldn't because you've already had the universe, life, God, Allah, the genie has already given you the opportunity to. Take control of your life, man. Uh, there's a joke that uh, I run with someone. And he tells me, you know, <laughs> all you had to do was just invest one dollar. And I was like, um, it's based off this one uh, Bitcoin video. I think just last year, I've heard of Bitcoin, but never... Uh, looked into it like you know should i buy some what's it worth uh, what good can it do for me heard of its existence but i never looked into it uh listen to anyone speak about uh its uh, value 
in respects to inflation, currency money printing, uh, payment, global payment, and the like, it's, uh, its effectiveness, its use. Um, but uh, this one dude, he's, and he's still on YouTube, he says, all you need to do is just buy one dollar to, um, you know, go with the future and invest. And the joke that I have is that, man, if I would have been told that, I have a dollar, and I said, nah, fuck that. I'm going to go fucking buy some chips and condoms and go fuck this bitch and party up. I very likely would have killed myself if I would have said, if I would have looked at my exit to, <laughs> my exit to poverty, um, poverty by American Hollywood standards, um, to, uh, yeah, I would have killed myself for not, uh, uh, sitting down and reading like I have in uh, the past few months, look more into it. And I'll say that, fuck, dude, uh, well, it started with the, the bailouts in 2008. You know what, money printing, QE3, QE1, QE1, QE2, QE3, why do you think you call it quantitative easing? And money printing during the pandemic. scandemic. And uh, there's probably going to be, you see, I don't know how to feel right now, because there's going to be a world of shit, a world of hurt coming up on a October 1st, I believe. In my opinion, you dumbasses who want financial advice. It's not financial advice. It's just my opinion. All right? So, um, you know, we don't know if the Fed's going to print out more for sure or they're going to start tapering back on money printing. But, um, I'm getting all lost now because I re that's one thing that I'm looking into right now because uh, what uh, to buy the dip and there's no guarantee on the dip when you buy it man so when, when prices go down on crypto and and that's that's you it's uh to me it's a casino but it's a real life casino and it's a casino where you're betting on the future more than anything you know saying about the Bitcoin joke and I say poverty by American standards because I think if you're poor in America to me being poor in America is not having no not having a condo or a house but to me someone who is poor is someone who does not have minimum 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 one acre as their front yard one acre as their backyard, half an acre on the side of their house, and it doesn't matter if it's one, two, or three story house. But as long as there's um, solar power, some solar power, trace of solar power, air conditioning, so it could be just homemade furniture, bed, electricity, and a fridge, and a flat table for eating, a flat table for working. And uh, it could be whatever, one bedroom, two bedroom house. To me, that's that's uh, that's being living in a house. And when I see people say, "Yeah, man, check out my place, man. Look, oh, I got this one parking space. Go over here. And hold on, I'm gonna go down this this parking. You gotta park around the corner. You can go to the apartment building with the buzzy wind. Even one place where." Um, I'm not talking shit about a friend of mine, and uh, he could buy me and sell me. He 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 does real good. He makes an honest buck. But remember, his home, um, his apartment, very nice, uh, nice neighborhood, uh, convenient, lots of restaurants. Um, even had valet parking. But. Uh, I, I couldn't understand that. Uh, you know, there's no front yard. Yeah, you got a nice view. But there's no front yard. Um, they can't... Uh, yeah, you'll have a patio. 
um, patio that's what four by six feet go to the, the pool area where you grill with everyone else what 20 by 20 feet and the earthquake you're fucked fire you're fucked you're not fast enough Yeah, so back with Hoskins, Hoskinson and Cardano. You know, that's, and I do believe it, you know, that the future will be getting shit out of uh, North Korea, the minerals, metals, whatever resources, the natural resources, um, better logistics, and I believe it, I believe, what, Sierra Leone has a lot of gold and diamonds, a lot of, uh, Makeup shit in India. And just the uh, um, a better um, what's it logistics worldwide on places that have just not been um, developed more. And again, you know, motherfuckers will say, "Man, you're just a hawk or a chicken hawk or greedy or go help out and just you're just a capitalist." Man, I, I'll say I got 329 businesses, individual businesses. Maybe three of them have a couple of different addresses, but 329 different um, businesses that uh, work with me, buy my products and services that are designed by me, 1,000% me. And uh, I do it, uh, you know, without a website. I do it by word of mouth knocking on doors and presentations and, and uh, I remember you know more than once where I thought fuck you know what I could get murdered right now I better be careful because that looks like death is approaching I almost got carjacked in Northern California. The time uh, someone tried to, uh, oh, yeah, that's carjacked in Northern California. Someone who tried to do an ambush on me and possible carjacking outside of Amarillo, Texas on a lonely road. Someone who um, thought I was gonna see my see my plans of the day and was that Dallas? I don't say I was Dallas, Texas. And, uh, you know, just played it smart. Act like I didn't know what was going on. And, uh, look, um, curve my back, look like more like a nerd, like a goofy, look goofier and nerdier. And, um, you know, play the, play naive. At the same time, I've been in places where, you know, you know, people have shook my hand and thanks dog, thanks for coming by, man, or pleasure doing business with you, or you're always welcome here. Looking forward to more stuff and I remember one time having uh, you know having so much in sales that fuck that is uh I literally cannot close my wallet. And so much cash to make a deposit. You know. So I've I've seen uh, the the effects, the hardships, the challenges, the rewards of business. And I think, um, yeah, Cardano. I would like Cardano because I think its leader is. Normal, funny, uh, fair, from what I've been presented with. <coughs> yeah, when he says that, you know, communists have read Karl Marx and Communist Manifesto and 
capitalist to know what communism means. You know, this drawing here. I remember one time some fucking fat bitch said, oh, I think it's a drawing somewhere at a restaurant. Oh, can I have it? And I said, bitch. And it came in with some other dumbasses. Like, are you fucking sucking my dick? Jacking me off? At red lights? Eating my asshole? Grilling, rubbing my feet? Making me a grilled cheese something? But uh, people expect shit. I've seen people, you know, people say, well, you know, it's my human right. I'm entitled to clean water, to electricity. You know what? In Disneyland, maybe. I think every restaurant in California is supposed to give you water if I be asked at no charge. But there's no law in the world that says you must have running water, medical care, whatever God given right or presumption like that. And when I when I finally accepted that and again, I'm not out here fucking selling what's called HMOs, life insurance, medical insurance, um, or do I even own water, stock in Coca-Cola or Dasani or Pepsi or anything like that. But, you know, there are businesses out there. You know, I've seen restaurants almost on the daily or whenever I go by a restaurant, you know, just throw away food, old food. The trash that they're giving to the homeless literally 10 feet, 15 feet outside the door. So, you know, but such is life, motherfuckers. And um, don't fight the future. Be prepared for it. Um, work with it. Adapt to it. And back up uh, the horses. The long shots. The, the horses that are work horses. And in, in most cases, that's that's you. That's your dumbass. But you're saying, oh, I need, I need a hand up, man. You understand? I don't have the internet, the interwebs. I don't have these pencils. If I didn't have these, you know, there's different... Shit, 99 cent store. Um, I could sell you these. Well, save up, man. Give a fuck. Go fucking flip burgers. I flip burgers. My art supplies. Look at this. This is copy paper. This is not drawing pad. You know, get it done. Sit down, man. But you don't think I know people say, hey, come over and barbecue, man. Let's go hang out, man. What's wrong with you, man? You work too much. Fuck that. I don't work enough. I'm not as effective enough. There's so much to do. I've seen so much hardship. There's so many, so much talent out there. So much, so many products to be, products and services to be um, sold, man. Something like that. I lost my train of thought. Capitalism works. And just be aware with communism. It's creeping up. We are slowly, with every bit of socialism, with face masks, mandates. Fucking, you can't uh, go here, go there. You're going to need a vaccine passport. We are slowly int getting introduced into ca uh, communism. So, just be aware of that shit, man. So much to do in this lifetime. Get after it. Go forward. Trump 2024 back with a vengeance and remember there are no easy days simply days where potential is not fulfilled